To extra depth on a health threat, even though COVID-19 is the virus that everyone has been talking about for more than a year now, the El Paso Department of Health, Public Health, is urging you to get tested for sexually transmitted diseases. New data published by CDC show in 2019, there were 2.5 million reported cases of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, which were the three most common. That's a 30% increase between 2015 and 2019. Local health officials say El Paso saw a big decrease in STD cases last year, but they believe it may be due to hesitancy in seeking medical care during the pandemic. An infectious disease expert told ABC7 that's not the only reason, and things could get worse when it comes to STDs. The reality is that we probably reduced some of those infections and diseases because people weren't as interactive, people weren't as mobile. I think as we come out of the worst of COVID and a lot more people are getting vaccinated, we head towards a summer that's looking really good, you're going to see a lot more interaction and interaction leads to sex. In the first four months of 2021, officials reported a considerable increase in STD cases when compared to 2019, with an even greater increase in syphilis cases among pregnant women. The CDC data shows cases among newborns have quadrupled since 2015. Dr. Ogachika Alozi says getting tested is key to fighting these diseases. Testing around sexually transmitted infections is all about your risk. And people, just like with COVID, have to understand what's your risk for getting gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, and HIV. If you're having unprotected sex, that's a risk factor. If you have a new partner, that's a risk factor. If you plan to get into a relationship, recommend testing. And so again, I think people have to understand their own risk. People need to get tested. Dr. Alozi recommends the El Paso Department of Public Health as a place to get tested for STDs, but you can also consider hospitals and clinics across town.